Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman. I've been doing Let's Plays now for about... Mm, two weeks. So I decided to make a video about some tips and tricks that you can use during your Let's Play to make it a little bit more interesting. I hope you enjoy. Tip number one, be creative. So recently it's been popular on YouTube to include a face cam with your Let's Plays. And now what we can do is we can be a little creative with this and we can try something completely different. As you can see here, I'm using a hand camera so you can see all the intense clicks and clacks that I need to make while playing the game. We could also be a little more creative if we wanted to. We could even go ahead and make an ass cam. Ooh, that's so scary! Ooh, that's so scary! Tip number two, make some jokes. Uh, why did the, the chicken cross the road? Because my dick, your dick was stuck to the chicken. <laughs> okay, I got another one, it's even better. Who's, who's a bitch? Your mom! <laughs> Okay, I, I got a better one. Who, who stinks like poo? You! Uh, oh, give me a like for funny jokes down below, okay? Okay, oh shit! I'm supposed to be playing this game, aren't I? Tip number three. Get personal. So I have this really interesting story. Um, today, I went to the, uh store and I bought some some chocolate and a bottle of cola and uh, so anyways I oh, don't even worry about that it's not important us uh, whatever anyways uh, so what happened was uh, I came to two dollars and 49 cents it was and so I gave the girl the girl at the counter I gave her a three dollar bill and so I gave her the three dollar bill and then I should have gotten 51 cents back but instead she just gave me 50 cents. She gave me two 25 cent bills. And so she gave me two 25 cent bills. And I said, hey, you, sh you missed a penny. And then she looks at me like, well, what's the big deal? It's just a penny. And, you know, she says that right to my face. And like, uh, it was really rude, you know? I mean, like if she did that to every customer that walked in that day, that's like a whole extra dollar and like... You know, like a dollar a day is like an extra $365 for the company. That's one less penny out of everybody's pocket. And that's... That's rude. That's, that's stupid. I don't know, like... What a rude person. Can't believe anyone would even do that. It's unfathomable. Wait. What am I doing again? Tip number four. Give info about the game. Hello guys, welcome to my playthrough of Super Punch-Out! This game was made in 1982 by Squaresoft. Now, at the time, uh, development teams were really small, so I believe this game was made by, what was it, two, maybe? No, it was made by uh, three people. So it was made in uh, Tokyo, and I think it was made in the third floor of an office building. Yeah, it was the third floor of an office building. And it was pretty small and cramped in there, so they didn't have much space to work and just some older computers to work with. And uh, the working conditions weren't that good because they actually didn't have any windows on the third floor, and the only window they had was actually in the bathroom. So if they needed to get some fresh air, they actually had to go to the bathroom to get some fresh air. Also, uh, it was a little bit dirty, because they couldn't hire a janitor for every day, so the janitor only came to clean up after them once a week. And, you know, they had no time to do it, because they were so busy making the game, and it was just a really hectic time for them. And so... Tip number five. Cut out the boring parts. Okay, guys, so this is the first level of Super Mario Bros. 1. And, um... I'm... Uh, I, uh, don't really know what to say. I'm just drawing a bit of a blank. Um, I'm just gonna cut the video out until I can think of something. Uh. Woo! I fucking did it! I did it! I saved the princess! I saved the princess! Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh yeah! 